Hello again, everyone. This is the other introduction I'm doing for the fantasy football segment on this channel. It's me, Will, and I am back once again to regale you with things that no one really cares about, but I don't care. I want to talk about it, so I'm gonna. Ha ha! So, um, tomorrow is uh, September 11th, which is a day that will live in infamy. It is also uh, really the start of the... Uh, the 2022 NFL season. Um, technically, it started this past Thursday, but who's counting Thursday night football? Am I right? Anyway, uh, I drafted for my law league. Uh, last time I did an update, I drafted for my neighborhood league, or had. It was, you know, I'm not going to get into that spiel again. So uh, to start off, there were a few differences. Um, in my law league, there were only 10 people, which makes a huge difference when you're drafting players. Uh and I was also drafting via the Yahoo Fantasy app, which is terrible. I hate this app. It screwed me over really badly. And um, yeah, so that's where we're that's where we're coming from. So I'll explain that in just a moment. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, on to my picks. In in the first round, I had to take Jamar Chase because he was sitting there. Uh, he was available, and I thought I thought to myself, why not? Like. Most of the elite running back options are either taken or hurt too often for me to really trust them. So I'm going to take Chase. Um, I also didn't understand how this app exactly worked at first. So when my pick came around again, I could have taken Najee Harris and had like a really solid receiver and running back. But I screwed up and uh, my app auto-drafted CD Lamb for me. So I had two receivers taken in the first two rounds and was kind of high for me to take Lamb, especially in a 10-man league. Um, but regardless, because of that, uh, I had to scramble for running backs. I drafted both Javante Williams and uh, Brees Hall. Uh, that left me with drafting uh, Jerry Judy, uh, Damian Pierce. I think that's his name. Yeah, Damian Pierce and uh, Patrick Freermoff to fill in another uh, receiver and running back spot as well as to get my first tight end. Now, I made my own major mistake, uh, so I can't blame the app on this one. Uh, I drafted Kyler Murray as a quarterback because I, I panicked, and I didn't have him in a watch list of players that I was looking for. But uh, I drafted him because I'm like, oh, you know, Justin Herbert was taken, and that was the quarterback I really wanted. Even though if I just waited one more round, I could have gotten uh, Russell Wilson, and I could have drafted someone else in Kyler Murray's spot. But I screwed myself over. There's nothing I can do about it now. Water under the bridge. Uh, to round up my picks, I drafted Romeo Dobbs from Green Bay, a receiver. Ramondre Stevenson from New England, a running back. James Cook, the Buffalo running back who did not look good in uh, Thursday night's game. Trevor Lawrence as my backup quarterback. And, of course, Hayden Hurst as my backup tight end. I also have uh, Tyler Bass as my kicker. And the Eagles defense in this league. So I went Ravens defense in my neighborhood league. Uh, Eagles defense in my law league. And I had to go Tyler Bass from Buffalo as my kicker in this league because someone took Evan McPherson. Oh, well, I can't really duplicate my teams all the time, can I? Anyway, this is the team I'm going into the season with. Uh, currently, I am projected to have uh, the lowest point tally of all 10 teams this week but that doesn't matter projected points are bullshit and the only player i had go so far is my kicker let's see how the season unfolds in both neighborhood and fantasy the next update or actually the first update in both leagues coming later this uh actually coming uh at some point in the middle of next week probably around um i don't know maybe the 13th or the 14th we'll see anyway later